Hi everyone, welcome to JE Max. JE means Advanced Extreme Series, Season 2 of JE Max. And through this season 2 of JE Max, we are completely concentrating on a particular topic which is very, very important for JE Mains and Advanced of that complex number is 1. So far in complex number successfully, we have completed 33 lessons. And from 27 lesson onwards, we are completely concentrating on the problems of uh, integrated test book exercise 4.3. And all the uh, previous uh, classes uh, links are that I am providing uh, in our description. Please don't forget to check the description. Again, my friends, please share and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon. And in, in lesson number 34 from integrated test book of exercise 4.3 uh, in complex numbers, we are now concentrating on problem number 16 and 17 because they are somewhat uh, different and the uh, same pattern type of questions. Solving the equations of the complex numbers. In general, this kind of questions um, in IIT advanced examination, JE advanced examination in general they may ask, but they are not good for board examinations. They are only meant for JE advanced and mains especially. JE advanced is first priority. Now of that, see the question number 7, 16th one. The find the so number of solutions of number of solutions of z square plus mod z whole square equal to 0. So here what I'm doing is I can take z as x plus i by e and I substitute it and I am equating the both real and imaginary part. There I will get the solutions. See, here it requires somewhat patience. So the hint is you take z is equal to x plus i by e. And z square plus mod z square is equal to 0 means uh, z square is <coughs> x plus i by whole square. That x square minus y square minus 2y x y. Mod z square is x square plus y square equal to 0. So, of course, y square y square gets cancelled. So, real part is what here? 2x square 2 gets cancelled. So, x square plus ixy equal to 0. So, since we are equating to 0, so real part equal to 0, imaginary part equal to 0, real part that is x square equal to 0 and 2xy equal to 0 that is x is equal to 0 or y equal to 0 finally. Case 1. Suppose x is equal to 0, what will happen? If x is equal to 0, then my z is equal to what? i y. If I have substituted that y by here, then i y whole square plus mod i y whole square equal to 0. It is true. It is true for every y. Yeah. It is true for every y. So, z is equal to i, i y for every y belongs to r is a solution. So, how many solutions I may get? Infinitely many solutions. Suppose if y equal to 0, what will happen? z is equal to x i will get. So, x square plus x square equal to 0. That means x is equal to 0 only I can get. That is also a solution. Totally how many solutions? Infinite many solutions I can get. That is the answer only they are asking. Enough. That's all. A similar model question that we are getting in this 16th problem number 2. See here. See the difference between these two. This is about z square plus mod z whole square. This is what? Mod z square plus uh, z square plus mod z. Here also I am doing the same model, same pattern. I am applying the same concept. So, z is equal to x plus i by z square plus mod z is uh, x square minus y square plus 2x square plus root of x square plus y square equal to 0 equal to the real and imaginary parts. This is you consider 1 and 2. Now, 2xy equal to 0 means x is equal to 0 or y equal to 0. Now, case is case 1. If y equal to 0, what happens? If y equal to 0 from equation 1, so x square plus mod x is equal to 0. It is possible only if x is equal to 0. So, finally, if x is equal to 0, y equal to 0, therefore z is equal to 0. That is one solution. Now coming to case 2, suppose x is equal to 0, if x is equal to 0 what will happen? Then uh, from equation 1 minus y square plus mod y equal to 0 is possible when y equal to 0, 1, minus 1. Yeah, this is possible when y equal to 0, 1, minus 1. It is not possible for other than 1 and other than minus 1. Okay, so my, uh, if, if x is equal to 0, y equal to 0 means z is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 and y equal to 1 means z is equal to i x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 means z is equal to minus i. So, totally, what are the solutions? 0, 1, 0, i, minus i. These are the solutions. How many solutions we got? Three solutions. So, sometimes they may ask the questions like this. A number of solutions they may ask. Total number of solutions they may ask. Some of the solutions they may ask. And based on the solutions, they may create some of other questions also. So, you please get awareness of these particular questions. And so, my solutions are what? Z is equal to 0, 
and z is equal to i and z is equal to minus i. Now my friends coming to this question and this is a little bit a lengthy question and important question and uh, they have asked in one of the advanced examination also the same question we may expect in the mains examination. Before going to solve this question I would like to give somewhat generalized version. If you have solved that question this question is nothing for you. So here I am concentrating in the place of root 2 I am replacing with uh, uh, some a. See. So if a greater than or equal to 1 solve this equation it is what? It is almost similar to that problem. So the above problem is the particular case of the general version. If you done this one the above problem is nothing for you. That is why here I am giving the generalized version. How to get it? As usual you take z as what? x plus i y and you substitute everything and you equate real and imaginary parts. So x plus a into root of x plus 1 whole square plus y square equal to 0 and y plus 1 whole square, y plus 1 equal to 0 you get it. So if y equal to minus 1 then x is equal to what? x plus uh, root of x plus a into root of x plus 1 whole square plus 1 equal to 0. So with the help of these two I got two relations if y equal to minus 1 then uh, that implies what x plus a into root of x plus 1 whole square plus 1 equal to 0. What is given a greater than or equal to 1 is given. a greater than or equal to 1 and the term in the root is always positive and x plus root of x plus some positive is equal to 0 is given therefore this is uh, therefore it is true equation 1 is true only if x is negative because x plus some positive quantity is 0 x plus some positive quantity is 0 is uh, possible only if x is negative this is important step we have to practice then uh, what to do here my x plus a into root of x square plus 1 equal to 0 you know that I can write it as after squaring on both sides by sending uh, x to that side I got uh, the equation like this a quadratic equation in terms of x like this suppose if a equal to 1 for a equal to 1 what will happen automatically the coefficient of x square becomes 0 and here if I have substituted a is equal to 1 my x is equal to minus 1 my x is equal to minus 1 yeah x is equal to minus 1 is negative no problem so my what is my what is my if a greater than 0 if a is equal to 1 this happens if a greater than 0 what will happen so from this x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a you solve from equation 2 you get this is this as the equation uh, solution for x because this is this is what minus from this you can get it you can write minus b minus 2a square plus root of b square that is 4a power 4 b square minus 4ac 4 into a square minus 1 into 2a square after simplification you get it minus a square plus r minus a into root of 2 minus a square by a square minus 1 of course my friends it is real only if what 2 minus a square is positive greater than or equal to 0 that means minus root 2 less than or equal to a less than or equal to root 2 and what is given a greater than 1 by combining these two I got this as the condition so whenever a lies between 1 and root 2 then only this has what x and my y has what minus 1 because this is the equation that I have been extracted when y equal to minus 1 so when a greater than 0 I got my z as what minus a square plus r minus a into root of 2 minus a square by a square minus 1 minus i y this is the solution and what will happen if a equal to if a equal to 1, of course here if I have substituted when x is equal to minus 1 and y equal to minus 1 and z is equal to what? Minus i minus 1. So if a greater than root x, if a greater than root x, x is not real, then equation has no solution. So finally what I am saying is, what they asked, what is the about the question for a, if a greater than 1, what are the solutions? So if a greater than 1, what are the solutions? If a lie between uh, 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 if a lie between 1 and uh, root 2, this is the solution. If a greater than root 2, there is no solution because if it is uh, greater than 1. And if a is equal to 1, this is the solution. Now, in my question, my a is what? This is root 2. Root 2 means it is greater than or equal to 1. It is greater than 1, sincerely. If it is greater than 1, then what could be the answer? What could be the answer? That means if a is equal to, if a greater than 1, then what would be the answer? You can substitute here. You can get the answer. Clear? a equal to root 2 means what? a equal to 
uh, 1.414 something like that. You just do it. Simplify that, you will get the answer very easy. So my friends, this, are the, this is the more generalized version. And if a equal to root 2, you substitute here, you can get this as minus 2, minus root 2 whole square, that means minus 2. Here it is 0. And this is what? Minus 1. So this is ultimately, you can get answer as what? As given in minus 2 minus. So you just by heart, this has the result for a greater than 0. For a greater than 0, this has my result. For a greater than 0, this has my result. Clear? If a greater than root 2, no solution at all. But in question, what is given for you? a equal to root 2 is there. That's why. Suppose in the place of root 2, if they have asked you to, if they have given any root 5 or something, then immediately you can say that it has no solution. It has no solution. That's why it is a more generalized version. More generalized version. You please practice this kind of things. It requires a lot of patience and keen observation. And without missing all the existing cases, one should solve the uh, uh, x and y properly on paper. Then only you can get the answer appropriately. Okay. Now, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, please share and subscribe my channel. And please don't forget to check the description. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. We will meet with the next video.